You come into a program like Presidential Leadership Scholars and you meet your classmates and you meet the people who have served administrations and you learn about the different areas of concern and the different issues they're working on and the fact that they're motivated and talented and you realize that there's a network of professionals with a mind toward doing civic good throughout the country and it just renews your hope and your faith in, in what this country can be and where it's headed. This is a one-of-a-kind program that brings four presidential centers together. This is a program that brings together really the best elements of what the presidents can offer to young leaders. The assets of the presidential libraries, the various artifacts. It also brings the people that were associated with those presidents, those administrations, and allows the scholars to interact with them very personally in very intimate settings and use those, those lessons for their own leadership development. The most important thing that I've learned through the Presidential Leadership Scholarship is that leadership is truly a contact sport and it requires a person to really dig deep within first himself and then to reach out to others to build a consensus and a plan for success. The PLS program absolutely has made me a, a better leader. It has given me access uh, to individuals, former presidents, uh, cabinet officials, uh, and you get, uh, you learn some key insights into why they made decisions, the decisions that they did. We weren't interested in gathering together a group of people who were just interested in learning more about leadership. We wanted to, to recruit people into the program who were already active in their communities and trying to make a difference. And that's what these projects represent. Uh, these projects represent the passion and the commitment of our scholars to making their communities a better place. My project involves providing federal judges the opportunity to learn about the work of the national security apparatus and the intelligence agencies. The idea was that the courts have seen more and more of these cases over the last decade or so. So federal judges are now confronting these issues at a time when not many federal judges have a lot of experience in this area. We have to balance the security needs of the United States against our liberty requirements under our Constitution. And I think most judges appreciate what those liberty interests are. But very few of us have a good appreciation or understanding what the intelligence needs are. So my personal leadership project is called Captain's Academy. And Captain's Academy will bring the boys and girls captains of the high schools within Austin to the University of Texas for three half-day leadership training sessions. And really the genesis for this idea was born through the Presidential Leadership Scholars Program. I saw how my own leadership style was enhanced after the first session and the second session. And so I, I really understood that there is a need for this type of leadership training at the high school level. When you have your captains from these various sports coming together, coming back with a positive me message, taking that positive message to the campus, um, I think that you're gonna start to see a change in the culture at that campus. What we do at Team Rubicon Global is taking the military veterans of very different countries, uh, bringing them together and deploying them into the field in response to natural disasters. PLS uh, has helped me better understand how values drive mission, which drives strategy and tactics. We're building out a global veteran service organization, so you can imagine the amount of planning that is, that is going into building these new Team Rubicons around the world. PLS has been very important in that planning process. I have seen a man with real passion and drive begin to understand how to manage and, dare I say, manipulate in order to get the right outcome for the collective good. I had one goal uh, at PLS. Uh, that was by the end of the program um, that Team Rubicon UK had conducted one operation and I'm proud to report that they deployed to Nepal in response to the earthquake. We worked really hard uh, to put together a group of scholars that was as diverse as possible, and diverse in terms of, of their life experience, their professional experience, their political perspective, and we succeeded in doing that. The great thing about uh, bringing them together for the first time in Mount Vernon was to see how, how openly grateful they were for being in this group, for, for being able to meet people who were so different from them, and to know they were gonna be in this program 
for the next six months with them. And over time, very quickly, what they realized is there was a lot to learn, not just from the faculty we were bringing in, but there was a lot to learn from each other. The thing that I think is so important about it is that they, they provoke each other, they learn from each other, they challenge each other, they support each other, and it's just been a tremendous opportunity for each of them. I know that they will do great things going forward for many, many years, and I expect to see them uh, in, in public life and making a difference in their communities across the, the country and across the world. PLS has made a, a lasting impact on my life because it's introduced me to a, a broad set of leaders uh, from a very diverse, uh, very diverse backgrounds, uh, both from the for-profit and non-profit communities, and I think these people are friends for life. And from my other 59 scholars and hearing their experiences and leading organizations, both in the nonprofit and the public sectors, and even the for profit sector, I've gleaned an invaluable set of lessons that will guide my leadership strategy moving forward. I feel having been given the opportunity, I now have a responsibility to go out and lead and to make a positive change and to execute my project and then to turn around and say to my, my classmates and my current scholars and future scholars, how can I help you? What can I do to make your project easier? What can I do to move your initiative forward?